Jones over here on the far ten. My bad. Uh, the reason why I went to him because I thought it was, I saw an opportunity. Of course, on the offensive line, playing you know guard, of course, but. Where they put me at, I can play either or. I can play right side, left side. It really doesn't matter where where they put me at. If I'm comfortable at it uh, before the first game, I'm cool. It's it's really not like a big, huge change for me. It's just it's just gotta play football still. You know what I mean? Hmm. It's uh better chance for me for getting ready for the next level. So if I do this now, I can play wherever in the next level. And I'm fine whatever, tackle or guard, left side or right side. I don't think it's going to be a likely permanent move. But I do think, like, they trying to do what's best for the team. Like, uh, for instance, like, say 2018, when I actually made my debut at left tackle, I was playing right tackle my first year. Then at the last minute, they switched me to left. I was like, all right, that's fine. Let me go play left. I look rusty, of course, but I was playing right the whole time. But, you know, it takes time, the repetitions at it, you know. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Because you know you can't. Like some NFL teams might look at me as a guard. Some NFL teams might look at me as a tackle. I look at myself as wherever I can play, I can play. You said this spring that you want to be the best offensive tackle in the country. So if you play guard, this goal to become the is it, guard. Is it best guard or best offensive line in the country? And that's still my goal too. It, that hasn't changed at all. When you decided to come back in January, like. Oh my God, that's completely fine. Let's like, actually go work at it. Let me see some film of the NFL tackles. That's like the best at what they do. So um, right now I've been studying a little bit of Wyatt, a little bit of Jonah, uh, Jonah Jackson, of course. And, you know, seeing them, how they have their base is like, it, help, it helps me out a lot. What, what are the things you have to do differently playing guard versus playing tackle? Uh, just play my game. Just be a little bit more stronger, you know. My base a little bit more wider than normal, of course. But I think that that won't be no problem for me. So is that a fairly easy transition for you? Fairly easy, not that much, but fairly easy. So, uh, Dewan, for instance, um, me and him had talks about like. We all know that I wasn't really supposed to come back, but we had a COVID year. I took, I took the chance to come back. So that should be the best tackle or best offensive lineman in the country. That should be the first round pick. And that's what I decided to do. And I talked to Dewan. I was like, hey, I might be coming back. He, he kind of felt like, ah, OK, down the dust. But I did tell him, like, if you could prove to me that you can, like during workouts, if you can prove to me that you on top of your stuff, and do the right things like all the time, I would consider moving in guard. You know, and you know, if that happens, it happens. You know, if it's a permanent change, it's a permanent change. I don't care wherever wherever they put me at, I'd be happy. How is he proving it though? Uh phenomenal. Like to be honest, like I'm happy for him. I'm happy that he's bringing juice. I'm happy that he's having the right mindset to actually like help us win games and help us, you know, go against our defense and win, you know, win the day. Oh yeah, he's he's quick. He has a big, huge frame, of course, as you can see over him over there. <laughs> he has a big, huge frame, and he's strong and powerful too. So, I think if he was like my size, he'd be good either way. Can they talk to you like about okay, if you play guard, like you still got to stay ready because we still might need you to tackle. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like, I'd still be tackled no matter what until they need me. I'm like, if they need me, I move. If they don't need me, I focus on one position at a time. Play center? That's a different situation. <laughs> but anywhere else. Yeah.
Mm. Well, the same thing with Paris. Uh, he has been working hard. He's stepped up a lot more. He knows his playbook. He knows how to actually like use his body to actually like move people too. And he's strong and powerful and quick as well. So him being a freshman doing all that, that says a lot. Yeah. No, I don't think he's that far behind. He's just picking up stuff left and right. And whatever he doesn't do, he, he if whatever he doesn't do right, he fixes the next day. That's what I like about him. He <laughs> he I like that part. I like that question right there. Uh I was just like so overwhelmed, you know, and like I said before in like I don't know, a couple of interviews is, of course, I'm the first one in my family and actually getting that diploma, oh my god, like that that was like mind blowing for me and my family and my future family down the road. So I can tell them like whatever you put your mind to it. And whoever's listening to this, of course, like if you put your mind to it and set your set that goal for yourself, you can accomplish anything. It might be hard. It's going to be hard down the road, but also at the same time, if you just keep pushing, keep driving, ask questions like to like older people or people that have already been through the stuff that you are already going through, you'll do a lot better than you think you would. Huh? Yeah, it was just so different having my hands on my diploma and be like, wow, like, this is, like, this is actually mine. Like, I did this, you know? When you think about lining up next to Nicholas, potentially, as both of you guys on the left side, like, how fun is that to think about? It's, it's actually pretty fun. fun. Um, it's a little bit, like, weird for Nick, of course, because he was right tackle last year, but I don't think it's going to be a huge difference. It might be a, might be a slight difference, but – not that big a difference for him because he can play no matter what. There, thank you very much. I need you to go to TV now if you don't mind. Thanks, I appreciate y'all.